Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about this post from a pro Magic player. And he talks about how much money things cost and the Magic winnings being very low. Now take it with a grain of salt. This is an individual that used a Black Lotus that he said was real as a coaster for a cup of coffee or tea or whatever it is. So I think... Um, this individual obviously wants attention at any cost, but in terms of his post, he's not, it's not fake, right? I mean, basically being a professional magic player is not possible with the very, very small amount of winnings you can receive. And that is the honest situation about Magic the Gathering since the NPL has left. It is no longer about big prizes or big tournament winnings. Um, the majority of Magic players will not never be able to live off Magic the Gathering again. So we have a kind of a, you know, this guy might be looking for attention, but in doing so, he did bring knowledge to a very big problem. Uh, and that is a problem. Not, I don't know if it's a big problem for most players, but... As Magic becomes more casual, there are less and less people interested in professional Magic play, and therefore the tournament winnings will get less and less. So the MPL is probably the last time they will ever try to do something like this. Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious, right, that sometimes when you are a Magic player, um, your career is very suspect, and you might not have a long time. I think a lot of these MPL members, um, they're not making ends meet. Even the sponsorships, no one, no one wants to sponsor them. Um, the MPL member, uh, it's very expensive, right? Uh, a plane ticket, hotel, uh, none of this is covered. They, it was covered previously, and that's what um, they're clamoring about. Hey, you know, this used to be the way things used to be. But uh, in reality, it's no longer... Uh, what it is so I would say that a interesting scenario is developing where most magic players realize that magic the gathering isn't really for them that magic the gathering isn't a job it's not a career it's not something you can base your livelihood on especially if this guy has kids right uh, used to be a dream and now it's no longer a dream right um and I think a lot of this has to do with people just simply are not interested in playing professional competitive magic anymore. Um, they're not. It's not fun to watch. The stream and the Twitch data would indicate that no one watches it. The information would indicate that this is a terrible investment. It was a terrible. It was so terrible that in the 10-year program they had to invest in streaming and all this good stuff, they pulled it in year free. So they didn't even wait for year five and kind of reassess. No, Chris Cox and team decided that there was no way in hell this was ever going to work. And therefore, we have to kind of nix it, right, off the bud. Because, yeah, we don't want to be associated with this uh, type of programming. And I think they're right. I, I do think that at some point in time, um, they are right. And when you talk about, a inter, you talk about individuals, who are desperate to make money, um, they often don't find money in Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering is a money sink. And there's, you know, I'm kind of reminded of the Gundun post. So you have like this Gundun and he does like this expert level build and he's kind of a, you know, uh, an Asian kid who's not really like that, that popular and he posts on the Gundam Reddit post and it gets like 10 likes and then a female who has no idea who's a very attractive obviously a model uh, then posts about her oh can anyone help me with my Gundam and she's got like the most basic kit and doesn't even know how to put it together obviously not a great fan but then in her post there's like 10,000 upvotes and uh, 50,000 people in the comments saying oh man I can help you I can help you and that's what Magic the Gathering is today you know, it basically is, hey, OnlyFans, like, I, I told you guys there was a danger, and no one listened, and no one cared, because they were like, oh, how could this be a danger? Well, it is, I mean, it is, like, if you're a Magic pro, being good at playing Magic doesn't get you anywhere. 
It simply doesn't. It doesn't get you sponsorships. It doesn't get you money. It doesn't get you. It didn't even get you into the MPL, right? A lot of these people have to go fund me their way to become a professional magic. So, go fund me, Kickstarter, OnlyFans. I mean, Patreon. I mean, these are just ways to get money from your subscribers. But maybe your subscribers are not that interested. I would say. I would actually even make the argument that perhaps they are not interested at all. And more to a point, I, I think when you talk about um, player base, when you talk about uh, different things, right? Um, a lot of this comes down to: do, do you find value in watching a pro Magic player create? Do you find value in watching a pro Magic player play the game? Do you find entertainment? Even if your value is entertainment, do you find that? And the answer for the most part is no. And that's why the views are down. That is why things are you know, collapsing in terms of Magic Pro Player. It's definitely not doing very well right now. And that's why I don't think things will ever kind of recover. Um, the... Outlook for Pro Magic has always been, in my opinion, bleak, but it's never been bleaker than it has today. And the reason that it is so bleak is because no one cares. Um, these DAX and these standard, like, no one even plays standard anymore. They don't. Um, the amount of grinders and people who want to be Pro Magic players have severely diminished since the MPL. If the NPL couldn't make it work and they had full-time streaming salaries and they had sponsorships supposedly and they were just crushing it, and um, then what chance does a non-NPL member have where they're not being paid a $70,000 base salary and being invited to every one of these big tournaments, right? Just no chance at all. Um, I think uh, in terms of a lot of what used to be Magic Gathering Pro Play, a lot of these pro players, they didn't work on their social media. It reminds me of like Overwatch League, and it reminds me a lot of um, some of these League of Legends teams that are doing really bad. They never worked on their social media, never, never worked on their content. That's where the money is. That's where the views are. That's where the sponsorship is. It's on views and clicks and all this stuff because that's what the sponsors want to see. So when you are just so focused on the game, but you are not a personality in the game, it is very easy to get rid of you because, again, it's a dime a dozen and the format has changed now. The sets have rotated out. There's a new set in. You may not like the new set. Uh, they're playing different decks now. But the content in you as a personality will still exist regardless of whether or not you do well. So I think a lot of people tried to be pro magic players and they are going to fail because they never understood the content side it's same with a lot of e-sports a lot of younger people don't get it it's about clicks and views that's how you make money in this industry